We're back with another installment of the Taurus TCP 380 Ammo Quest, looking for the best defensive ammunition for this little pistol. And today we're going to look at the Federal Premium Hydra Shock. Now this is a round that's been around for a long time. It's probably been around longer than some of you who are actually watching this video. Uh, Hydra Shock was a uh, state-of-the-art bullet in its day. Um, it is a little unusual for a hollow point in that it has this little post that's in the center of it. Not necessarily reputed to be the best performer through layers of heavy clothing, um, but in bare gelatin it should do okay. Uh, I'll get to testing with heavy clothing. Once we find some rounds that at least perform well in bare gelatin, then I'll move on to testing those in uh, with heavy clothing in. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the Hydroshocks. So the Hydroshock, I don't know, but um, hey, we're here to test. So test we will. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Check this out. The Hydroshocks may be the oldest bullet technology that we're testing among modern hollow points, but uh, it didn't do too bad at all. Uh, we got one bullet that did not make 10 inches, about 9 and 3 eighths. All the rest of them surpassed 10 inches. One of them was 11 and a half, and one of them actually met our specification and went 12 and a half, giving us an average of about 10.73 inches. That's not bad. The Hydroshocks performed exactly as designed, they all expanded, and they penetrated pretty well. The shortest one was at 9 and 3 eighths inch, the next one was at 10 inches, the third one was at 10 and a quarter, then we had one at 11 and a half, and the furthest one was at 12 and a half inches. The recovered Hydroshocks all look pretty much the same. I mean, each one of them expanded. They all expanded fairly uniformly. The only real difference is whether the little post here in the center stayed vertical or folded over but in general the Hydroshock at least in bare gelatin was a pretty effective design it has minimal expansion allowing for deep penetration but not too much penetration and the expansion gives it a larger wound profile than a full metal jacket would and the sharpness of the bent over pedals will do some cutting towards the distal end of the wound path. So overall, at least in bare gelatin, pretty effective. It's not quite what I'm looking for. I want, a, I want a consistent 12 inch from every round, but I also acknowledge it may not be possible in a 380. There may just not be enough oomph in the cartridge to, to deliver that. So we're, we're looking for the best that there is. And right now, Considering all that I've tested, the Hydroshocks here have at least made it into the semifinals. Thanks for watching this episode of Ammo Quest, and stay tuned for more, and check out the articles at the shootingthebull.net blog.